Hello, I'm Rivian and this is Alpha Protocol. If anyone is to blame for these events, Mr. Thornton, it is you. Alpha Protocol began here, after all. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Alpha Protocol. One of my all-time favorite games. I've been wanting to do a playthrough on this for a long time, but I've never quite figured out how to properly show you just exactly how awesome this game is. Because this game is a tagline that is, your weapon is choice. And in this game, like no other, does choice mean everything. The actions you do, the different dialogue choices you make, what order you do things, who you save, who you kill, makes so much difference to the story of what actually happens in the game. No other game because then we're close. So if you were to play this game once and you'd play it and you'd finish it and it'd be fine and you'd be like, well, I guess that was kind of cool. And then when you play it the second time and you do different choices every step of the way and you realize just how different the game is, that's when you realize the genius of this game. So how was I supposed to show this to you? Well, the result is what you're looking at right now, episode zero. And in episode zero, I'm going to give you guys the choice. I have chosen two paths to take through this game. And we're going to pick easy because normal and hard only really increase the damage enemies do and the amount of health they have, so easy it is. Combat is not the point of this game. This is an RPG, not a shooter. Anyway, I've named these two paths blue and red for a variety of reasons. First of all, field agent will be blue. No stranger to covert operations, you've spent the last several years working for the US State Department on overseas assignments. Capable of being a charismatic presence one moment and an inconspicuous shadow the next, you're always the agent on location, never the one hiding behind a desk. Soldier will be red. Decorated for service in the armed forces, your commanding officer felt that general infantry was a waste of your potential. Your natural language, talent, and quick wit caught the attention of a recruiter for an agency that doesn't officially exist. Now, blue and red will be more different than just our agent history. Do if we pick field agent, we can see the choices we have here. You see the different type of skills we have: stealth. Pistols, submachine guns, shotguns, assault rifles, sabotage, technical aptitude, toughness, and martial arts. Now, these are all different in how you play the game purely mechanically. 
So as a field agent, we want to have points in stealth, and our main weapon is going to be pistols. We're also going to use a lot of martial arts. But, in the beginning we will actually not use the points in martial arts, and instead put into points in sabotage. Because basic breaking and entering reduces the difficulty of lockpicking, electronic bypass and hacking attempts. And that is exactly what we want. However, as we were a soldier, we would be focusing on assault rifles. We would also be focusing on toughness to take more health. And a little bit of everything else. Normally I'd pick either submachine guns or shotguns, but I'm gonna be honest, the weapons aren't really that great. Submachine guns particularly are really weak. Shotguns are okay, but there's no reason not to use anything else than assault rifles. So in that case, I'd also gain the points here in Sabotage. But then for the future, I'd be mostly getting assault rifles, toughness and some gadgets in technical aptitude. Now, of course, blue and red has more to do than just the skills we choose. Blue, field agents, will be a professional. He will be stealthy, smooth, cool, efficient, Clever, smart, awesome. He will be blue. Red will be a badass. He will be aggressive, rough, ruthless. He will blast into the room, guns firing wide. He won't be sneaking around and be taking down everyone he sees. He has no patience for any bullshit. He will just go for it. This game tends to call your choices aggressive, suave, or professional. And specifically connecting those three to Jack Bauer, James Bond, and Jason Bourne. Now, blue and red will be sort of a mix between both, but imagine professional being James Bond and Bourne, and red being James Bond and Bauer. So, which one do you choose?